We were, um, uh, I think, the first group to show that multipotent human neural stem cells have the opportunity of improving function after animal models of spinal cord injury. And we published that in the proceedings for the National Academy of Sciences in 2005. Um, it was very exciting data at the time because it was the first time that human neural stem cells had been used in this kind of disease model with at all. And certainly it was exciting that we saw beneficial effects under, under um, those models. We have since, just recently, in August of this year, published a study um, showing that in animal models what would be considered a chronic, at least an early chronic time point post spinal cord injury, we also see recovery effects with human neural stem cells from Stem Cells Inc. So as I was mentioning, this is an enormous potential impact for the field because it permits or opens up consideration of targeting a therapeutic window that isn't hours or days post-injury, but may extend um, into months or longer post-injury. And because of the number of injured individuals within the US, over a million, um, that have chronic spinal cord injuries, this may really have the potential to offer significant therapeutic impact in a translational setting. Human neural stem cells have at least two um, unique attributes um, in our hands compared to other potential therapeutic stem cell populations. One is that they move around well. They can travel distances in the spinal cord after transplantation and get to the right spots that need repair. And that might be something for um, an injury or disease like spinal cord injury that affects sort of a wide bit of the spinal cord that's going to turn out to be very important therapeutically. The second thing is that when they get to those spots, um, they take on characteristics that are important for repair there specifically. So in white matter, white matter tracts are often disrupted in spinal cord injury, and they do the job that the white matter needs in terms of repair. If they go to gray matter, which is a different kettle of fish in terms of spinal cord injury, then they do that job when they arrive there. So because they're multipotents and they can make different cell types in different places, uh, after they get to the right spot, they seem to do the job that is appropriate for that place, and that may be a very important feature 